So you say you'd want to sell your gear, right? Is this the gear you have? And what is this? This is your life skill gear. So you've been doing life skilling and you want to go full life skill. Is that what it is? And you're asking whether you should sell your gear or not. If you decide to sell your gear, which one you should sell? What's the fallen god? What level is that? Do you? Okay. All right. What I can recommend by just looking at your screen. Uh, are you okay not to do any grinding for the next two months? Two, three months. Okay, that's good. If that's the case, keep your awakening. Keep your kutun. Keep your fallen god. Keep your griffin. Keep your, keep your boss gear. Okay. Keep your boss gear. All of them. Keep your wells heart. Keep your awakening. Keep your kutum. Only thing I can recommend selling, sell your Ted Ogre, sell your Ted Rings. You also want to keep your earrings and sell your Black Star. How much money you can get out of it? So sell the Black Star, sell the Ogre and sell your rings. How much money you can get out of it in your server? Do you play in EU? 40 billion? Yeah, that's, that's good. That's good. The reason I don't say sell your distortion is because the next upgrade is pan distortion which is gonna take quite a lot of time it's like 100 billion so you will still need something best in slot in the meantime i don't want to sell i don't want you to sell ted distortion because when you start grinding again you have to buy the same item i don't want you to sell one item and then buy exactly the same item that's not that's that's wrong but because the reason I'm selling, saying you should sell your Ogre and you should also sell your Rings and you also sell your Awakening, sorry, not Awakening, your main hand, is because when you start grinding again, you're gonna buy the upgraded version of this. So you're gonna sell this anyway. So might as well sell it now, since you're not gonna grind for three months. So sell the Rings, sell the Necklace, sell the main hand, keep your Kutum and uh, Awakening, Keep your rings, keep your all your armors, and keep your Velsa. So that 40 billion, if you invest into life skill gear, in two months' time, you will start making silver for your uh, for your PvP gear. And at that point, save yourself. Honestly, I don't know how much the belt is, and also I don't know if you are gonna buy a Turos belt or not. If you plan to buy a Turos belt. You could even sell the belt but if you don't plan to buy Turos belt if you just want to go AP then keep the belt because that's not an upgrade 36 billion that's so cheap if you don't really need to just keep the belt but if you have to if you need to really like if you really need the money you can probably sell the belt as long as that new belt you're gonna get is an upgrade so if you are planning to get a pan Turos belt then sell the belt use the what what belt we got uh pan capota did you get the pan capota from last uh season did you play last season if you have the pan capota you can probably use that in the meantime yeah if you have pan capota that's 17 ap yeah in that case you can sell the belt too so working out belt i'm not sure so because if you are planning to upgrade your belt to Turos belt, there is no point keeping your Pan Bassi at this stage. So what I would recommend, what I would recommend, sell the rings, sell the necklace, sell the belt and sell the main hand weapon. Buy full life skill gear with that, high end, probably buy Tet accessories for yourself if you can. Buy the TED accessories and buy the TED tools, sorry, pen tools. And then if you have enough money, save for pen gatherers clothes. Once you have pen gatherers clothes money, and then what are you going to do? You're going to start making money for your grinding gear again. At that point, you want to save, depends which route you're going to go in PvP. You're either going to buy yourself a pen Zaka and do a capra on it but the capras are very expensive or you're just gonna straight save 100 billion and buy yourself a pan 
Blackstar. So with the new update, getting Pan Blackstar should be a lot easier than before, right? So I would recommend to buy yourself a Pan Blackstar and then Pan Necklace. Whether you're gonna buy Pan Ogre or Pan Tangrat Necklace, it's up to you. And then stop buying your accessories. Whether you're gonna buy yourself a Pan Eyes of Runes or Tangrat for extra AP, it's up to you. Keep the earrings, earrings, keep the earrings. Earrings are the last upgrade. And then buy yourself a Tauros belt, Pan Tauros belt. And then after Tauros belt, then you can focus on getting your Pan, what do you call, distortion earrings. So that plan is gonna probably take you the next eight months. So the next three months, you're not gonna do any grinding. You're gonna focus on life skill. In the life skill, with the money you get from here, you're gonna buy yourself a full Ted Monos accessories, Khan's Heart, and then Pan Tool, the main tool you're gonna use for making money, depends on your server, and you're gonna put a pre-order for Pan Armor. After that point, you're gonna start saving money until you have 100 billion or 120 billion, whatever the money is, okay? In that case, you can put a pre-order for a Pan Blackstar, alright? You put a pre-order for Pan Blackstar, get your Pan Blackstar out of the way, and then after that, focus on accessories, whichever is available, and then make another 100 billion, whichever is cheaper with your current market. If the necklace goes cheap, because some sort of event came out, and buy the necklace. If the rings goes cheap, buy the rings. If the belt goes cheap, and available by the belt once you have the all your stuff then buy your pan distortion in the meantime in life skill as you get your capras don't sell your capras stop putting your capras on your armor by the time you get your this gear your capra level on your armor is probably gonna be like I don't know, Capra, over Capra 10. You're probably gonna have enough Capras to do maybe like, you know, Capra 15 or something, you know? Capra 10 to Capra 15, you will have enough Capras for it. Maybe leave the Griffin at Capra 10, just in case if we get Fallen God Griffin, and leave this one at Capra 10, and keep pushing the other two. Whether you're gonna stay with DP build or Evasion build, it's up to you. If you are gonna go for Evasion build, I recommend you to sell your Urugon and Bags Gloves and then buy yourself a Muskin and Lever. Depends. If you are just gonna stay with DR build, then just keep it as it is. But if you are gonna stay DR build, you will probably won't need Turos belt. So if you are gonna use the Bags Gloves, you most likely won't need the Turos belt. You can probably get away with most classes with bags gloves but if you are gonna go evasion build and use lever you probably want to have Turos spell you can still probably get away with full ap here but that's only for specific class not every class most class will require probably have a pen Turos. that's my opinion and your duo armor eventually when you have stack you can probably attempt to try with crons the game is gonna give you a lot of free crones, just keep them up, just save them, don't waste it on rubbish stuff like horse upgrade or something, don't waste it. Keep it, it's only 2100 and then you can use the crones like I did to get your try falling out. You might be lucky like I am and get it in one, one tab. That's my recommendation. Alright, easy, enjoy your free one-on-one -on -one coaching.